Hello everybody. Well, this is just a quick uh, quick video for you. As you know, my channel is sponsored by Banggood. And uh, they said, you know, what do you want for another uh, sponsorship? What, what would you like to order? And uh, I've always wanted a toolmaker's microscope. But uh, it's a little bit out of the price range. And uh, so I'm improvising here. So you can see here this box. This is the, uh, the box that it came in. And uh, I'll give you a cut sheet for it also. Uh, it's around $40. And you can see it's a 1 to 600 power LCD digital microscope. It's pretty awesome. I've been having a lot of fun with it. And as you can see there, it's got, it comes with a stand and a sticky base. And I'll hold it up here in a second. Um, it works on that stand. It's just not very rigid. <clears throat> Excuse me. So I improvised. And I'm going to show you my impro imp improvisation that I did. Some time ago I bought this uh, microscope at a estate sale. And uh, it was a complete unit. And there's the, he <clears throat> the head unit. And <clears throat> there's the lenses. Well, paid 40 bucks for it, and it really, although it would work, the power was too high, and it really, it didn't work that well. <coughs> Excuse me. So as I mentioned, this uh, <coughs> plastic stand that this unit comes with works, and it's got a silicone uh, adhesive that'll bond to any kind of materials. And with the unit on it, of course, as you go to adjust this dial, there's a little bit of flex, but it works. Um, but I said, oh, I've got this microscope. So I basically improvised and mounted it on the back here. So now I have adjustment up and down on the uh, unit itself, the LCD unit. And then I also have the ability to raise and lower the table. So let me, uh, let me get it turned on, and uh, we will uh, take a look at it. I just don't know that I can do it justice. Uh, right now it's running on battery. It does come with a charger. It's a uh, European plug, but it does get shipped with a, an adapter for America, the United States. So powering it up on battery, and right there you can see it's looking down, and... What I wanted to show you is, uh, let me bring a couple things over here. So, there's, you know, I have, I'm just jumping around here a little bit. So I have a nice magnifier. And, you know, here's a carbide insert. And I struggle sometimes trying to look at the carbide insert or many other small items using this. So I really, was really pumped about getting the uh, microscope here. So let's see, let's start off. I haven't preset it, so we'll just jump through it. Now, I don't know how good that's coming up for you guys, but uh, I gotta press the camera back here, see what you're seeing. But I think you can see that's a pretty good picture. Let me see if I can move you in a little closer. And I'll work around you. So there's the two uh, carbide inserts. Now, if we go out of focus and I bring the table up and go to the high magnification... If I can do this, reaching around the camera. Bear with me there, guys. Okay, what am I looking at? Where'd it go?
So hopefully you can see that. And you can see uh, the power of this um, microscope there. It, uh, or it, it really uh, is it's really quite impressive. My table was a little sticky, so I went and oiled it, and now my table is not sticky anymore. So I gotta fix that. But all right, let's get it back in focus here. There we go. So I can actually fine adjust with the table, or I can do it here with the unit on the camera lens. So you might notice, I think this is the one, but you might notice, right, I'm going to reach in here with a pointer, try to. Oh, I can't. Can't look through the. Basically, you can see a little burr on the end of this guy, right, right there. So let's take a look at it in another another view here. I think this is the one that to look at it with the naked eye, it would look like it's okay. No, that's not the one. There it is. So, there you can see a chunk out of the end of that piece of carbide. Which, the naked eye, you basically, to look at it, you would think the unit's fine. And with the, with the, this, uh, uh, magnifier. If you knew what you were looking for, you'd see it. But quite awesome. Um, so anyway, I thought I'd show it to you. It's uh, my inexpensive uh, toolmaker's microscope. And if we were to go back down, let's see, let's put it back there. We'll go back down out of focus. And you can see we can bring it into focus right there. So pretty awesome, relatively inexpensive for the shop use, and I think uh, you'd find uh, many uses for looking at uh, various items. So I hope you enjoyed, and uh, we'll catch you again on another uh, Screwy Tuesday. Thanks for stopping by. Oh, in, in closing, I want to apologize for my last video on the boring bars. I had used my iPad to film some of the uh, footage, and was in a rush with uh, my son being in the hospital to get the video out. Got tired of going through the production and didn't watch it one last time and didn't catch that the volume was down on the, on the video that was through the iPad. Uh, that was really a poor production and uh, please accept my apology for that. I'm always trying to get my sound issues correct. All right, catch you guys soon. Well, always when I go to shut the camera off, I think of something else. So I was just showing you, I've got, you know, the two units sitting down here. And there's the uh, table for the uh, actual microscope. Fooling around with different pieces that are down here and maybe little vice setups and what have you. Um, but I uh, wanted to show you one other thing. And uh, first we'll, uh, we'll swing over here to... Here's uh, my buddy Howie. He's uh, snoozing there. Just had dinner. 
and uh, he's liking the lawn cushion there to keep him warm off the concrete here uh, during the rain. But uh, the thing that I wanted to mention to you is I'm going to look at setting this camera up also on my Noga, the microscope, on the Noga end. And that way it can actually be, uh, since it's portable, it doesn't require a cord. It runs on batteries, but you can see there's the charger plugged in right there. Since it's portable with the Noga, I'll be able to go over and set it up on the lathe or the mill and uh, really get some close-up things when I need it. Uh, it would really be cool if the unit had crosshairs, um, but uh, hey, it is what it is. Okay, now we're done.